yes, but I'm not a farmer. I'm an investment banker. How much did you invest? Uh, not much, maybe $20 million. The price of water has doubled, but in the next 10 years it will double again because of intensive agriculture. There's a lot of discontent between the farmers and the people who are controlling the water. And so the farmers sometimes look at these people as water barons or water bandits uh, because they're controlling water that many times they can't afford. Nicknamed the water bandit, David Williams rules over his empire from high up on the 45th floor. As an owner of expansive water reserves, he rents his water to farmers, as others would rent land. And the future is looking bright. If we go to 9 billion population, and the Chinese want more food, and the Indonesians want more food, and the Indians want more food, and they can afford to pay for it, then we need to find more intensive ways of growing food. That means more water. And that's going to lead you smack bang into how you get that water, how you price it, how you allocate it, and how you regulate it. With the big investors buying water, it's getting back to the old days of the landlords and the peasant farmers. And if we want to survive or stay into it, we're going to have to buy the water at what the landlords deem the water is worth. Back to the Middle Ages, yeah. In the name of fighting global warming, the Lords of Water have made an agreement with the environmentalists. A portion of lake and river water is now protected. 